Last week, my colleague Senator Langford and I introduced the Unfunded Mandates Information and Transparency Act, a bill to enhance transparency about the true costs of burdensome federal regulations affecting our states and localities. Twenty years ago, the Unfunded Mandates Reform Act, otherwise known as UMRA, was signed into law to reduce the burden of federal mandates on state and local governments, as well as the private sector. The statute was intended to fix a simple problem while promoting informed decisions by this Congress. But since UMRA's enactment in 1995, many remain concerned that the law has fallen short. In Nebraska and all across America, our constituents continue to face a growing mountain of red tape that stifles economic growth and holds back progress on a number of fronts. In 2011 alone, the Government Accountability Office identified 14 different loopholes that would allow government agencies to avoid conducting the UMRA analysis. In other words, red tape has survived and prospered. By their very nature, federal mandates are both complex and vague, which is why I have introduced a new bill to fix these shortcomings and increase accountability. This bill, known as the Unfunded Mandates Information and Transparency Act, would address the UMRA's loopholes by mandating stricter agency requirements enhancing stakeholder input, and strengthening enforcement mechanisms. Furthermore, this bill has the power to get the job done. It would allow judges to place a stay on regulation or invalidate a rule if a federal agency fails to complete the required UMRA analysis. It would also close a glaring loophole used by agencies to skirt the requirements. Last but not least, my bill would expand the scope of reporting requirements to include regulations imposed by independent regulatory agencies such as the EPA. I know that many Nebraskans are deeply concerned about the effects of new EPA requirements, such as the proposed water rule, a rule I have forcefully fought since it was first proposed. Nebraskans already go to great lengths to protect and preserve water resources within our state. But now, the EPA is going overboard with this new proposal, one that represents a massive federal power grab and clear disconnect with Main Street America. I share the belief of many Nebraskans that the federal government should be held responsible for the rules that it puts into place. By clearly notifying taxpayers of the costs of each mandate, which the bill I introduced would require, we can better hold the federal government accountable for the economic impact of its costly regulations. I hope my colleagues on both sides of the aisle will join me in supporting this simple, common sense legislation to help bring greater accountability and transparency to Washington. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander.